I'm Drew Binsky, and we're about to explore inside one of Thailand's most spectacular temples. Wat Rong Kung, the White Temple of Chiang Rai. It looks like something that came straight down from heaven, or an icy Christmas cake. The White Temple first opened its doors in 1997 by a local artist named Chalom Chai Ko Sitipat, who actually passed by in front of these monks. The temple is still a work in progress, set to be completed by 2070. It's impossible to take a bad photo or not be completely overwhelmed by these surreal visuals and details. All white exterior, all white interior, with glass white walls and designs. Are you wondering why everything in white colors? Yes. Yes, huh? Because white colors represent what? Clean, purify, huh? virgin, uh, how to say? Keep yourself clean. Huh? But what makes this temple so special is the way in which it tells the story of Buddha's life. Unlike every other Buddhist temple I've seen, which use traditional paintings, decorations, and stories, the White Temple uses icons from modern culture such as spaceships, Pikachu, Michael Jackson, and Superman. Why? He just wants to tell you that all the heroes from Hollywood and also from the film is just an imagination. It's just something that fakes, not real. The real hero is yourself. On the walkway over the bridge, you'll pass by thousands of skulls, body parts, and demons. Deanna found a penis. I found like you. Professor, I mean Ajahn Chalam Chai, he just wants to tell people about the evils in your heart. The details and dedication of Kosik Pipa's work remind me of Gaudi Sagrada Familia in Barcelona. It's so majestic here that even the bathrooms are made of gold. I haven't seen everything in Thailand, but this probably ranks right up there at the top. And for only a 50 baht entrance fee, it's only 50 baht to get in here. I highly recommend it. A lot of faces and there's <laughs> all this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Drew Binsky, and if you like my travel videos, please click subscribe and join me as I plan to visit every country in the world. It's electric, it's sexy, it's tasty, it's confusing, but above all, it's futuristic. The Japanese are innovators. They somehow figured